We have been analyzing in depth about this decimation of the world and we made a query about it to a few eminent environmentalists and their words were all pointing out a single thing. The environment today is in great danger and a lot of things are happening which are beyond our control. And personally, I feel that the blanket approach as in finding a short term solution won't actually help in any way. We have to work on the real solution for that. We need to devise an inclusive long term solution that guarantees sustainability. You see, these issues are interrelated to each other. So the first step of tackling these problems would be to understand the issue at its root and how it can be connected with other issues. For that, we, we have to understand what the current challenge is, find loopholes and then bring in innovators to understand how these loopholes can be covered. Instead, what we do is just find a temporary solution. For example, plastic pollution. The solution we came up with is to ban, ban it, like we ban plastic. And once a comfort is challenged, we find excuse to get out of it. And then the issue is back again. So I'd say that's where we went wrong. There has to be a sustained collaborative effort to manage these issues and it's not just one issue. There are multiple issues and each of these issues are connected to each other. So I'd say the solution is we need to figure out what is the one string that really joins them all and then address that collectively. To answer this question, let me give an example. So recently in India, a city named Gurgaon has topped the list of most polluted cities in the world. You know, there's hardly any water, the trees are disappearing and when you're in the middle of all this, what does the government do? The citizens of Gurgaon have set up a forest called Arabelli Biodiversity Park and they planted over a lakh and 25,000 trees over the years together only through citizen action. But now the government has built a six lane highway through this entire forest. And this forest was created by the citizens over their sweat and love and work. This is just a single case, but in different colonies, more than 10,000 trees to be cut so that the great government can build their houses and other constructions in these forest areas. So yeah, I do think the government is focused more on the economic growth and less on its environment. The difficulty lies in the people and the situation. The public desire for action is bursting forth in the streets and with this enthusiasm, by 2070, I believe that a lot of change will take place. Some changes will be hard to predict. Ecosystems will reshuffle and species will evolve. We will change too. Many of us will learn to see ourselves differently as one species among many a part of the nature. We will look back at the late 20th and early 21st centuries as a painful, turbulent transition during which humanity learned to thrive in positive ecological relationships with one another and with the species around us. Looking upon our past, we cannot undo what was done or what we've done. We cannot go back if it seems overwhelming. It's in part because we in time as individuals can't stop it. We cannot solve the environmental crisis by being good consumers. But we absolutely can make things much better by being good citizens. We can start small, as small steps make a great difference.